So, with the second summit between North Korean leader Kim Jong Un and U.S. President Donald Trump just around the corner now, uh, Kan Hyung Woo takes a look at who will support the leaders in Hanoi. North Korean leader Kim Jong Un and U.S. President Donald Trump will surely be the faces of the upcoming Hanoi summit, grabbing all the limelight. But it's their respective support teams that have led and will continue to hold working-level talks in the run-up to the summit. Similar to the Singapore summit last June, Vice Chairman of the Workers' Party of Korea Kim Young-chul and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will serve as the top advisors for Kim Jong-un and President Trump, respectively. North Korea's Minister of Foreign Affairs Lee Yong-ho and U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton will also again play a key role at the Hanoi summit. But in regards to pre-summit negotiations, there have been personnel changes on both sides. North Korea's former ambassador to Spain, Kim Yok-chul, has replaced the regime's vice foreign minister, Choi son -hee. U.S. Special Representative for North Korea, Stephen Began, has also taken over the role served by the U.S. ambassador to the Philippines, Song Kim, in the run-up to the first summit. Photos suggest Kim Yok-chul and Began are the negotiation channels that directly report to their respective leaders. Both Kim and Began have met each other's leaders face to face, indicating their messages have been clearly exchanged and understood. With no experience in leading North Korea US negotiations, the pair are under pressure to break out of the unfruitful patterns seen over the past decades. The world will have to wait to see what kind of agreement comes out of the Hanoi summit, but the outcome could determine whether the pairing of Kim Yok chul and Stephen Began will still be in place if President Trump and Kim Jong-un meet for a third time in the future. Kan Yong-ho, Arirang News.